How would you sell an MRI machine? Let's say you are a biomedical engineer working with the sales and marketing of an MRI machine. Someone approaches you in order to buy an MRI machine and they ask you for a quote. Okay, they specifically ask you about a 1.5 Tesla MRI machine. Now, your task is to sell them a yeah, 3 Tesla MRI machine. How do you do that? What are the things that you would like to know about the purchaser in order to sell a 3 Tesla machine in not, instead of a 1.5 Tesla machine? And what are the things that you should know about an MRI machine as a biomedical engineer in order to make a sales? Okay. So in this video, we are going to keep things much much simple. We are not going to talk about the technical aspects of 1.5 and 3 Tesla machine. Instead, we are going to solve an important gate problem based on the difference between a 1 Tesla and a 3 Tesla machine. The patient is initially imaged in a 1 Tesla MRI scanner and the induced voltage is found to be equal to V1. The expression of the magnitude of the received voltage in R of coil is given below. Okay. Expression for the voltage depends on MR slice volume Vs, V0, M0 which is a magnitude of resultant magnetic vector at equilibrium, uh, gamma naught which is the Larmor frequency, alpha tip angle, beta power R which is a magnetic field sensitivity of the received coil. And the patient is shifted to a 3 Tesla MRI scanner that uses the same R of coil and the th slice thickness is halved. The magnitude of the induced voltage was found to be equal to V2. The ratio of V2 is to V1S. So, <laughs> what we want is, so we have this uh, two MRI machines, okay, we have the magnitude of the induced voltage in the RF coil to be V, okay, magnitude of that is given by this expression. What we want is, say we use a uh, 3 Tesla MRI machine and uh, compare that to a 1 Tesla MRI machine. What is the ratio of these two? induced voltages that's a question and the reason to ask such a question is of course uh, higher the induced voltage uh, the signal is going to be better so the signal to noise ratio is likely to be better okay with a 3 Tesla machine and we would like to quantify that and the question is framed very trickily in the sense that uh, we are almost it looks as if we are given the answer but all the details are hidden in each of these terms okay so what we need to do in order to find this ratio is to actually figure out which of these terms depends on the magnetic power of the uh, magnetic field strength of the MRI machine. Okay. So, of course, 2 1 pi or constants does not vary with the machines and gamma naught is the Larmor frequency, right? That is proportional to the magnetic field strength, right? So, this is proportional to the magnetic field and so this depends on the strength of the MRI machine. So for, for a 3 Tesla machine this is going to be higher, right? For a 1 Tesla machine this is going to be lesser. And Vs is the slice volume. I think what they say is that uh, the slice thickness is halved. So when the slice thickness is halved, okay? the volume is also halved because for MRI machines volume is proportional to slice thickness okay so there will be a factor from the slice volume okay how about M0 M0 is the magnitude of resultant magnetic vector at equilibrium okay so the magnitude of the resultant vector at equilibrium it turns out that also depends on the field strength of the MRI machine and again this is proportional to P0. The proportionality constants involve temperature, the Boltzmann constant and all that. But for now similar to <coughs> gamma naught, M0 is also proportional to V0 and we notice this Vs term is proportional to half, right? Because the slice thickness is half, the volume is half. Okay, how about sine alpha, where alpha is the tip angle? It turns out the tip angle, a uh, couple of things to notice. First of all, they say they don't change the R of coil, right? They only change the uh, MRI machine with the same R of coil. The R of coil doesn't change. Uh, the tip angle will not change. In fact, uh, the tip angle is usually proportional to B1, not proportional to B0 okay the main magnetic field 
so this B1 is the magnetic field from the RF coil okay and because they don't change the RF coil uh, this term does not affect this ratio and uh, finally beta power R uh, magnetic field sensitivity of received coil this depends on a couple of things like uh, you know uh, the impedance of the patient type of the RF coil whether it's surface coil or body coil and all that but if we don't change the RF coil the radio frequency received transmitter coil okay this is not going to change so this will not affect the ratios so the terms that are going to affect the ratio here are essentially three gamma naught lot naught frequency slice volume and uh, m naught okay now based on this information it's it's pretty easy to find this ratio okay so i'm going to find this ratio based on this result over here so let's write it for the one tesla mri emission so we have two pi gamma naught d s m naught sin alpha and beta power r okay and similarly we have a 2 pi and we notice gamma naught we said is proportional to beta naught let's call the magnetic field strength in the one tesla machine to be b b naught and the slice thickness uh, b s 1 and again m naught there is going to be a factor of B not there, sin alpha will get cancelled and uh, beta r will get cancelled. So how about 2 pi gamma naught for the 3 Tesla machine? It's going to be 3 B naught. Okay. The proportionality constants will get cancelled when you take the ratio. So if there is B naught here, there will be 3 B naught over here. If there is B S1 here, okay, volume of this thing. So B S2, that's going to be B S1 by 2. Okay. So this is going to be b s 1 uh, by 2 where do i write the 2 let's make it write it over here so this 2 is due to you no know, reducing the slice thickness or the volume to half okay and again m naught there is going to be a factor of 3 b naught over there and uh, sin alpha beta r doesn't change so sin alpha uh, beta r doesn't change so these terms get cancelled and uh, constants so what we are left with is uh, again vs1 vs1 what we are left with is 9 3 times 3 by 2 which is 4.5 very interesting question it's almost as if they give you the answer but uh, that's not the case in fact you need to know a lot about mri emissions on all the all the parameters in the design of an mri emission in order to answer this question so the preparation level of preparation expected to answer this question is pretty high so put more time and effort into reading about NMR and MRI. I'll see you with another video and uh, write down all your questions and comments below. Good luck.